Hey everybody, it's Lisa from LJ Creations and today we're going to use a tea towel. We're going to use some acrylic um, paint from our stash and we're going to just use a cutout that you can cut out on your silhouette, cut out by hand or um, anything like that. So, and a pencil. Now, um, I have to say, I saw something similar to this done, um, not in a video, but on like some like it wasn't Pinterest, but like some email I got, so I couldn't even tell you where it's from. But it was really cute, but they did it with um, for St. Patrick's Day, so I wanted to do it for Easter for my kitchen. So um, I just took out a piece of copying paper, cut this out, and then I just grabbed some paint that I had in my stash and I'm going to use that for it. But the one thing you do want to do is like I have this life box back here so it protects that other side of the towel so that it doesn't get icky. So I found the center point of my towel and um, I am going to place my bunny in there and I'm just going to dab some paint onto my eraser and just outline my bunny. I'm not going to put you guys through all of this. I will speed up the video. But I'm just showing you how I'm outlining it with the yellow. I have two different colors of paint. I'm not sure if I might go in between the two of them. But I thought the yellow would be fun. Especially very springish for Easter. This is a good way to make holiday decor for your kitchen and not break the bank because you can get a set of like eight tea towels for like $4.99 and if you have paint in your stash or even if you just pick up paint it's pretty inexpensive I think you can get these as cheap as 89 cents at Walmart so it's not an expensive product and I'm sorry if my head is getting in here I am doing this at a different angle because I am trying to paint all angles for you guys so just do that is it okay if you get some of the paint on your template because you're trying to make it look kind of sporadic and you'll see in a minute how it'll change up a little bit So we did that, and I'm going to show you real quick. You could just do that if you wanted to. It gives you like that little outline. But I think it looks kind of dull. I need a little more to it. So using a different color paint, I'm going to kind of spatter in there and add some dimension into that. You can do any outline you want. It doesn't have to be Easter Bunny. You can make a star for Christmas. You could do, like the picture I saw, they did um, a shamrock for St. Patrick's Day. And this is something you could do with the kids too. I may have my kids do some of these. But I'm going to speed up the video so you guys can watch.
Okay, so I think I have it where I want it. I might add a little bit more orange in there now that I'm looking at it. Just over in here a little bit. And the fun thing about the orange color is it's got glitter in it. So I can see the sparkle. I don't know if you guys can. But it's got a little bit of sparkle in there. Kind of threw that orange in there. And then with some black acrylic paint, I was thinking that I probably should add eyes in there and whiskers because I think it's going to look a little goofy without. I think people are like, what is that? I know what it is, but someone else might not. So using just some black paint that I had, which is not wanting to come out for me. There we go. Put that on my palette. Um, we're just gonna make two eyes. One, two. Oh my goodness, he's so cute! And then I think I'm going to make, I'm gonna try to attempt some whiskers. Just roll those on there. Just get that on the. Yeah, there we go. Maybe we'll I get that up a little bit. I think we can fix that with a brush really easily. Yeah, there we go. Just fix his little whiskers. I'm like, kind of made those a little off, but that's okay. There we go. Cover that up a little bit. Oh my goodness, he's adorable. And then I think with this pink paint, we're going to give our friend a little nose. So, I have a little splinter right here, but that's okay. So, using our pink paint, I am going to give him a little nose. Kind of getting the black in there because it's so wet. Black off this paint. Or off the brush. There we go. And just kind of dab that on there. Give it a little puffy nose. And there is our little I think I want to add a little bit to fix that little boo-boo. I think we can do that really easily. I will just line that like this. There we go. And just fix it and we'll add it over here too. Because then you can't see that boo boo. And then there we go. So um, I hope that you guys like this. It was fun, it was quick. And this is honestly something you could do with the kids, they would love doing it. And I know grandmas would love getting this as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll show you what it looks like once I'll dry and hanging on my, um, in my kitchen. You guys have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.